If you're a spinner, you might have heard of electric eel wheels. They started out with electronic spinning wheels that were actually made on 3D printers. Many of their projects are funded through Kickstarter just to make sure that there's enough interest for the product. And then once there is, the products go into regular production. Maurice Ribble, the inventor behind electric eel wheels, has started branching out into new products, and he still uses Kickstarter as a way to promote his initial products and to figure out how much to order with his first manufacturing runs. I was able to back the Cone Winder project, and I finally received my reward in the mail, so I'm going to unbox it today. One of the reasons that I wanted an electric cone winder is that there aren't even manual cone winders really available on the market. There are ball winders which will wind your yarn into cakes, which is something we're pretty familiar with as knitters, and there's also bobbin winders for weavers that wind your yarn onto a tube. But there's not really a cone winder that will wind your yarn onto cones that's accessible to consumers. One of the reasons that I wanted a cone winder is that there are certain instances where a cone is actually much easier to use than either a cake or a bobbin. So I was really excited to back this project and I'm excited to see how this works. So it's a kind of a big box and here at the top we have cones. So there's one, two, ten cones. Maurice has said that there are 3D printable files available for these and somebody's working on an adapter so you might be able to use existing cones that you have left over from your weaving yarn. Especially with machine knitting it's a lot easier to use a cone than it is to use a ball. When I'm warping my loom and at the warping board if I'm using a ball it has a tendency to go flying across the room, even if I'm using a yarn bowl or something like that. But with a cone, I can set it down and it stays much more stable. So it looks like there are 50 cones and they're all in different colors. So that's going to keep me occupied for quite a while. So that was the first box. And then this is the second box, which I assume has the actual cone winder in it. We've got in here, this is some instructions for how to put it together. Winder base and tensioner. So these are instructions. They say we want to have the base of the winder at least 16 inches the tensioner. You can mount these to a board and screw them in place or clamp them down to a stable surface. Centers need to be aligned so that will make your cones fill evenly. Oh and look there are more cones in here. Look at that. I, I honestly don't remember which package I ordered. It looks almost like I might have ordered a package that had extra cones. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, ten more cones for a total of 60 cones. I think that will keep my yarn stash pretty healthy for a while. So I plan to use these with like hand spun yarns and things like that that wouldn't ordinarily go onto a cone. Okay, so I guess this is probably the tensioner. This is kind of similar to the tensioner on my bobbin winder. So that's how I'm guessing that. And we've got, there's one clamp, some rubber bands, some cables in here. This looks like probably what the cones are gonna mount onto. Curious to know what these rubber bands are for. And just a full disclaimer, I have not had a chance yet to watch any of the instructional videos. So if at any point in here I think I'm gonna break something without watching a video, I'm gonna go away and watch the video. So there's a little spring tensioner here and an Allen wrench. It's got these grooves on it that um, are probably going to guide the yarn to make that nice cone shape. Very nicely packaged, very efficiently packaged. We've got a power cable, always important. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to look at the instructions to find out. This looks like the other half of the power cable. So that's everything that's in the box. And now I'm going to see what I can do to get this set up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.